obvious B split. What is Sonari, Synopsy, and one flat are gonna be able to do? Well, one flat with his jewelry is trying to get aggressive, but can't find the kill onto Kurt Cut. The B holds strong. A smoke that goes in towards the, uh, the elevator area, which means this isn't just a jump up, right, Freddy. This is a wraparound towards spawn, and oh my word, is it a lockout? Four kills go their way. It's only rig on left. One versus five, and Wrinkle sleeps him. One zero, bait. Really impressive start. Oh, the rotation. Look at this. Scenario is completely clearing out ramps. So they're not going to be able to completely contest them coming actually onto the bomb site. But they are going to be here very quickly. The nade goes a little bit too deep. So their only piece of utility to deny the bomb is not going to be used. Wrinkle going one for one towards the sandbags. And as these smokes will start to fade, hell will be released on to the bait side. And right now, they actually claim the advantage. NPL, I don't think they know he's there, but they are expecting it and they hard clear him. Oh, it's perfect. Amster all by himself gets the first in a one versus four. Just spam through the smoke blind. But sadly, Regon puts an end to that madness and bait are unable to secure the second round and make sure they have the most out. And now we're going to see a bit of pace added into their arsenal early on on Vertigo. Synopsy gives b &E the competitive edge at the minute 30 mark of round four. Wrinkle back turn to a rig on. And is able to dissect the gap push. Cut, cut owner, two versus four. Yet again, like, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, blame bait so quickly here, but like, Notice how many fights taken individually, like the one death on ramp, the other one, again, kind of like bottom ramp on its own. One player, you know, yet again, fighting their own battles. Nice from Ona, flank though from one flat throw, nice double, lines them up. The big man delivers again, B&E up to a third and... B &E, we are in an age, oh, never mind, one second, I'll hold that thought because it's a run boost. And Captain Kirker, bye bye, Sceneri. Okay, that's actually a really huge opening kill because the B bomb site is completely open. So Nops is going to throw some counter utility. Doesn't anticipate someone to be white box. The nade actually does blow away the rifle. However, it doesn't matter because Captain Kirka, the only player with armor, three kills so far for him. Regon's been identified. One of Flatcher is on the flank. Captain Kirka is going for more. And finally, he gets brought down. However, not without punishing Regon. The bomb's on A. What? Oh no. MPL found rig on and it's just one flat throw left. He thinks it's B still. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, he's shifting in because he knows that there's presence towards B, but hold on a second. I'm on the site. Where the hell is the bomb? I'm not hearing any beeping. I'm not seeing a red flash and light. He's on the other side of the map. B8. Uh, B8. Able to cut down B and E. He's pretty well placed. Should do a bit of extra damage wrinkle. Down to 64. Peek him for the AK. Quan Flatro, we know what he's like with these rifles, man. He has crosshair placement like no one else. Look at this go. Eventually does get taken down, but the fact that he finds three with him means only a single AK save for Wrinkle. And they're just going to fall away. They've taken all this space. Is GXX timed out? Oh, he is. Oh, oh GXX way. is timed out. So you're on the Deagles, and now you have your star Orper timed out it's gonna be information i guess yeah they see gxx and you've got synopsy trying to play with him and the issue is in tandem wrinkle will expect him and now the advantage has swung back in favor of the ukrainians that is actually Bruh. so devastating imagine if he wasn't timed out how different this round would have been played out and it would have just been more like more possible that is oh three of them are gone what ah Wait. It wasn't just one person disconnected, Freddy. It was 60% of the roster. Scenario gives it a go, but it's just rig on left. One versus four. When's the last time you've seen something like that? I mean, rig on, to be fair, if there's one individual that you want in this situation, it would be him. Problem is... Winnable. 1v4, surely. It's just going to be a step too far. <laughs> Does deny the bomb, but a second <laughs> frag. 6-4, Beanie out on the right. Look from one flat throw. Well, unfortunate. Kurt Cut, best him, reads the flank. GXX has to smoke on the molly, but it doesn't stop him from fighting and taking phase. One kill goes his way. Wrinkle seems to have the idea that he's still sucking sandbag, but that's not the case at all. Three versus three. Situation is looking quite bleak for bait because yes, yeah, sure, numbers are level, Freddy, but look at the HP. Kurt Cut 10, owner 53. 
to go either way, but the only issue there is no util right now for B and E to try and like uh, like a nade right now on the bomb site would detonate on Captain Kirk's head. However, the Yorp will still do the good damage. Bomb is down. Two versus three post plants. Synopsy will fall. Now it's all down to owner though. One versus two towards ramp and GXX holds for him perfectly. The Orpa, the first round that it ever comes out in this yeah. map, it gets put to perfect use. The Orpa finds three kills. Rotating towards middle as well. Bait with 25 seconds. They've got to get a move on. They're going and they're going to try and strike towards A. Go! One flat throw with one, but I'm still lines are both up. But Scenari's on the case. Able to find one. Low HP on the player that isn't planting either. So he's able to find Kirk Crew. Might Ooh. be able to blast them all down. But it's GXX. What better man to have in this situation? Orp in hand, but he makes a bit of a step. He's got a clear close left, and he will look to go for it, but can't hit the shot. Amstar finds him, and there you have it. They are rotating heavily towards mid and B, but as Regon goes searching, he sees more and more, and the more is just basically nothing. So because of that, GXX will also rotate over. Four players here. They should be around for B and E. Nice shot from Kirk, but GXX on the case. Scenario up close with the M4. Barrel stuffed in the face of Kirkka as he finds himself another. And now it is just Donut. One versus four. Control of the bomb. Control of the round. Scenario wants four and he'll absolutely run with it. That is exceptional. Very nicely done. Four survive for BNE. And I did say best case scenario was seven. 4v4. Yet again, BNE in a position where, yeah, they can absolutely capitalize off of this, but they've got to be careful. Three players towards ramp, a bit of a retake, wrinkle, got to be careful, Scenari up close. Very, very close, nicely done. The advantage now obtained, and the problem is, with him dying so aggressively there, Freddy, they have no control towards A, so B is their only option. So an obviously will spot them out. So even though they have this advantage, they will get the bomb down. Smoke towards the right side of the of, of generators and owner's gonna try play around it misses the jump and is gonna think better of it He has a smoke as well that he can replenish either towards the right side or maybe a deep CT and here comes a retake util Owner not gonna drop his util It'd been really good actually to maybe replenish that smoke because now it fades It gives so much more of a pathway towards the CT side instead He's just gonna duel them flashbangs immense Amster sets up his teammates perfectly and baked fine nine That's an incredible end to half for them and we'll see you right after the break see if they can continue this form pistol round just as important though for uh, for b and e bait needs to be second best hit owner and his usp oh my word is that a shot to one flat throw but rig on quick to the trade means all the opportunities flung back open you know b and e 4v4 is actually better than them than a five versus five less resources spread between the two sites Got to be careful here, because Synopsy up close needs to spot Kirkka and does, but doesn't win the fight. The Jewelies have found a second as well. Sineri also dropped. Now rig on GXX with so much to do between them. Going to be a difficult round. E250 on a massive flank, but he is the only man left alive now. Rig on against four. I mean, this man is electric. I know he's capable of winning. The problem is, those jewelies going to be very, very hard to shove. And there you have it. Kirka makes it three. Choose to invest. Tech nines across the board. Got to be careful. Oh, Wrinkle does find GXX and Airy. Trades off 4v4. Tech nines starting to close the gap. Starting to kick their nose into business. That maybe Bake didn't expect it. Vamas, it's a laboured spray. And it is Amster that gives up his life. So b &E with an advantage. But Scenari at one point of health. Okay, so it's a very weird position to be in, and MPL is actually going to go hunting with Owner. That grenade just doing further chip damage. One flat throw shows and rears his ugly head. Oh, it's the MP9s. They're tearing apart. Still, though, a 2v2. I'll make it a 1v1. Captain Kirker, 24 to 9. He is on fire, but it's him against one flat throw. Titans clashing heads. One on fire, the other. Has not had the brightest of performances so far in round 17. And one flat throw. He's played with a minor Captain Kirker, but Captain Kirker expects it. Honestly, that awareness is, is insane. Oh, that's a six Ooh. from MPL, but an even better one from Synopsy. Peek on in. 
Not a fan. That is very silly from Wrinkle. 3v3, all three from Ramp. Two smokes as well for BNE. They can put up the blockers and try and get in towards site. Left and right hand side smoke available. GXX against Owner. You know who you'd favor in that gunfight. And GXX rips the head off of Owner's shoulders. Both players on the flank. Do they expect this? When you're in this position on the flank, I want to see one player maybe go a little bit earlier and take the original contact, maybe go one for one, and then bait in your second. That's exactly what's going to happen. Captain Kirker, he's going to try to do it all while baiting in for Amster. One factor towards Sandbag, they're going to expect him. And well, okay, never mind. Um, Amster just walked up and gone, okay, yep, you do it all because Captain Kirker, he is a beast. He is annihilating every single player in front of him, not only in this round, but the the whole entire game able to uh, to pull scenario out of the equation early doors in this round though and that's gonna hurt got low HP as well working from the 4v5 always tricky never mind that it's a 3v5 this, this, like, this could have been such a promising round for BNE, and right now it's just not looking like that Amster will try to get out of dodge but in the process Regon will crack open the cranium but look at this from owner he's hot on their heels he's hot on the flank and honestly so is wrinkle yeah wrinkles right behind him so mpl's in a position where he just has to keep on applying the pressure and because the bomb's taking so long there's no one checking flank they don't expect it gxx was kind of peering towards that way but he's just gonna lose his life and now mpl on this bomb site denies the bomb loses life straight after but the damage has been dealt regon you've hyped him up one versus three 40 seconds. Doesn't know there's two flank, but it won't even matter because Captain Kirker finds yet another triple kill. And I tell you what, these fast psych smokes have allowed all of this. He's hoovered up the entirety of ramp. Finds himself on him. God, it's a game of timing. Amster thought. wins it. <laughs> the Nopsy can't quite convert. On Flash has to back up from a B fight as well. The bomb on the stairs. Great what? from Ona. 2v4, one flat throw alongside Rigon. And now it is just the mastermind. Mr. Rigon, one versus four. Can't really favor him too well in these situations. MPL complete off angle, unexpected as Rigon turns the corner. 15 6, that point bait. Right now, though, we still, we still are in vertigo, and Captain Kirker, okay, this one's a little bit messier from him. He's had an incredible game so far, and will only just get some damage. In the meantime, his teammates are going to die over towards the A-bomb site. So, B&E, a little bit of a legway and a lifeline here in vertigo. And thrown a line. Cut, cut. Picks up the phone, his duty to hold B. Issued an order, but can't deliver. Only the one frag, and with that, owner, flash goes high. Great first shot, to be fair to him. Spots out scenario as well. Ooh. From is GXX, a little uh, deeper route and into that site. That means Amstar in the clutch. One versus two. So winnable, Ryan. He's going to get spotted out. They knew he was there anyways. He'll win the first engagement. He got given that onto GXX, and sadly, once again, they can win. They can come back. It's going to have to be eight in a row. So nine in total. It's not ideal, but it is plausible. I've seen more crazy things happen. That's not a great start, though, because Wrinkles just chopped down to Orpa by nature. You can do it with the A1S. Oh, I tell you what. MPL had the idea, but it was actually one flat throw that blasts him down back through the wall. Nade tossed in after trying to stop the push, but Sineri gets the best of him, owner trades, and that means GXX 1v2 to keep the dreams of BD alive here on Verti. Gets spot at the out of the arm, sees the head now as well, tries to find the headshot, can't quite connect. Be careful, flanks have been synonymous with this bait defense. GXX having a look behind now as well. Is he going to swing? He is, but he can't connect the frag. Kirk closes it 16 7, bait take map one. I feel like there's no better person to end it off. Captain Kirk uh, secures a defiant hold. Definitely could be. Want to see ourselves here into an engagement. Synopsy gets the opener, but Kirk are quick to trade. Rig on one minute, P250. One front throw turns back around. Kirk will silence him, but again, it's even Ooh. Stevens as GXX hits the shot. Amster 1v2 has isolated the first, but it's Rig on in the clutch, and he will hit the shot with a P250. That's the BE flare we were looking forward to. And BE start their map pick with a pistol round win. If they can, 
Winner, winner. It'll be a fun second map. If not B and E, this would be the best start possible. Flash alongside the smoke means Synopsy a dead man. And with that, I think it's safe to say advantage well maintained as well for bait smoke towards a creating a blocker Ooh. but the max 10 runs through scenario one of the gun upgrade and didn't expect a second man to face hence why wrinkle able to get the best of him 4v3 in the post they have no kits so definitely is going to be something they're going to have to work on a flashback from ct maybe a little bit too early but they are still going to push up and they are still going to find success gxx in a position where he has to multi-frag you cannot get out you have to stand your ground and he does perfect time as i said running low npl Eliminates one flap throw, but there is no time. One flap throw by just simply existing did enough, and bait will not be able to secure a first round for themselves, even though it shaped up like they were going to. Okay, so it's a step in the right direction. However, that's a good opener from ring from, 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 from MPL. Good flashbang in the middle. Just get your first and dip out. But this scout. It's proven to be quite dangerous. And now they're going to try hunt down Amster. But Amster's holding strong. NPL spots out GXX. Oh, he takes off a silencer. Okay. All is well. But Synopsy, he has to get more here. He has to he, he has to do something. But unfortunately, I think there might just be a little bit too much to ask for. GXX. Oh, what a shot. They expected him to be there. They never heard the drop down. But Amster just gets his head torn right off. Deliver led to heads. And we'll see if he can do that once more as... Both players move out towards the A site, chucks the bomb to his scoutsman, and that does make sense. Attack the bomb, wait for MPL, swing! Synopsy finds the first, M4 does deliver though, and Kirkka, one bullet needed, and he finds the frag. Nice job, Kirkka will defuse, but look, Freddy again, B&E, three kills and a bomb plant. The money isn't going to be too far off the mark here for the T side. The real question is, are we going to see that B&E flare yet again? Any with an investment, one galil on Scenari, four AKs and Synopsy puts bait down to four. Not only that, seems to have the idea that Ona sits within the smoke. GXX has found another. And I tell you what, Freddy, we don't even need to see opponents being he set the feelers and collect all the frags. Oh, great shot from MPL, but that's gonna be it. That's gonna be round over. Amster completely out of this round. To any use in this round, it's Amster. Saving out towards B apartments. Imba, look at this double setup towards ramp. Flashbang to try and see, like trying try to deny presence. But Captain Kirk has right now been baited in perfectly. Molotov towards Palace. This is looking really good for bait. However, Regon might have something else to say about it. That's an incredible first shot, but he will not be able to follow up with a second. And now B and E, like what do you do? Two versus four, and GXX literally just wait. Uh, okay, I um, mean, nice little bit of movement, but just quite unnecessary. <laughs> Slide right off his teammate's head. Presented to an MP9 first. And GXX never fails to miss those shots, but it's MPL that closes out his teammate. So it is just this AWP against three. Dinked up, tag to half, and I think it's safe to say from this point on, exits is probably what GXX is looking for. Ooh. That is a great shot. Tries to switch to the rifle. Not going to get it out in time, but that smoke bottom con yet again just... Trying to trying to make this as default heavy as possible, Frey, to catch this Beanie aggression. Relentless from scenarios. Max 10 runs up short. Owner with two. Can't be given the time of day to find a third, but MPL can. And it's all crumbling right now for B&E. Surely not. It's going to have to be heroics from oh. one Fletcher and GXX, but Captain Kirker continuing his form from Vertigo. The Deagle singing. The Pistols are singing. And B&E are going to have... A song of death ringing in their ears. And now B&E completely leaving middle, apart from one flat and connector. They're going towards ramp. Where right now, Captain Kirker is pushed very aggressively. He's going to walk in front of them. Oh, no. One by wall. One. They fall the wayside. One flat finally will die. And finally, they'll get something. But right now for B&E, this is looking very successful. The red carpet has been rolled out. Smoke Topcom is going to relieve a lot of pressure from this T side. Flash into CT is going to reveal there's two people here. And Synopsy is going to chop them both down. Both with wall bangs. And Amster is just sat there on the B bomb site being like, what's just happened? Can Amster even save here? Like, 
I don't, I don't know. Bia needs to be very careful. Well, it's like, you've got the one, like, okay, like a, a save here for Amps is really big, but also him getting all these kills is also quite huge. I don't know how much this is, this is beneficial to get, like, that kill, but losing two in the process. We know that the CT side, traditionally the easier one for the two. Oh, Synopsy definitely spotted the headshot peak. Oh, look at this. Pre fire. No, can't hit the shot. One Flatro knew, but couldn't connect. Rigon finds one, but Wrinkle trades. Three against four. Sinari starting to panic, trying to push the site. MPL from underneath. Good to find one, but Synopsy scoops up the trade. Not only that, it's another one as well. But Kirkka puts GXX in the clutch at all. GXX. It's a good start. The question is oh, the timing. Oh, the timing. I was going to say, huge. does he stick towards B? Man's found himself in kitchen, and he might just walk out towards A. Owner just simply does not anticipate this. He he, he, he thinks that GXX is, is hiding and lurking. Smoke in his belt. But GXX, he needs to expect there's going to be no kit. And owner, is he just going to go for the full defuse? He will. Oh, GXX trying to see if it's a bait. He thinks it's a bait. Five seconds have passed. He's got his knife out. Slicing. Hits two. Connects them. Owner gets the frag. He probably could have stuck it. He probably would have got that defuse. But no, he chooses to save his life. He chooses to not give GXX the knife. And because of that, BNE &E are going to secure the seventh. For bait that have now been put on the receiving end of disappointment. How many opportunities did they have when it was rifles against pistols to just find that follow-up and convert the round win? Oh, the 5-7. How on earth is it finding three? Oh, no, two with the AK. Wrinkles found another. Wrinkles sure. on GXX, 2v5. Honestly, like, it's just not even making sense right now. Captain Kogo is going to catch the bomb running away. He's not going to get the kill, but it is confirmation. There is someone there. NPL's going to be very careful there because he's going to give up his life here to Regon. Regon playing the trigger discipline. Needs to be careful. Someone might kill him from connector, but no. Oh, oh Rigon. Back to a two versus two. Owner oh, no, once again. It's him and Amster. The dastardly duo. Seeing if they can do what they couldn't in the previous round. It's a little bit harder now. It's not a one versus two. It's a 2v2. Owner oh, no, in a great position. Is going to spot GXX oh, jumping towards Van. But bye-bye. Head snapped right off. Amster no armor still connects the first. 50 HP up against because the wood's not broken. It's gonna kind of cut off some sight line. It's gonna cut off some vision, but it does not matter. GXX still wins it out, and it's back to back clutches for the man on your screen and back to back rounds of BNE that looked very very dangerous, looked unwinnable. They have nothing towards ramp. That's where Regon's shifting out. He will show his hand. But MPL still holding towards Connector. That's a good first kill. Sineri picks up the AK. Bomb has been identified with an advantage still in favor of Bates. Nicely done for Sineri to find Kurt Cut. Quick flank though coming from Wrinkle, and that's going to be problematic because the bomb head exposed. Ooh. Wrinkle with a second. Sinopsi against three, and Wrinkle wants them all. 8 7, B and E win the half, but it's only marginal. On in, Kurt Card. It was actually looking away from the opposition. It's one Flatro and Synopsy back at the site fighting for their lives. And oh my word, are they swinging for the fences? Connect every single swing. And bait drop to the floor is B and E. Find nine. And what didn't work for B and E? Let's see if it works for bait. It's going to be a straight execute. Big on blind, but it isn't going to stop him from finding the first and the second rig on. Swinging for the fences, yeah, okay, rig on big damage. Synopsy emerging through the smoke, Sineri coming through connector, and MPL one versus three. Yet again, the door slams shut in the faces of Bait. They've been given a bit of space, but B and E here to take it all right back. And now MPL, difficult task ahead of him, and falls at the first hurdle. Synopsy makes it a double, and B and E make it 11. But now we can see the Util reigning in the middle. Top con, top window. And Wrinkle will execute one flat throw on that boost. They should know about Sineri. They should know about one more towards Short. There's actually two more now. Amster almost dies just with a wild spam, but Synopsy will just come through the connector smoke anyways. This is looking great for B&E after it felt like it was crashing down a little bit with that first frag going against them. Flashbang gets dodged by both of them. They're jumping out and they're jumping to their grave. Oh, it is destruction. It's annihilation. The guillotine comes down and GXX Orbs finds two. Once, away, once again, we go into the fray, and it's going to be a bit of change of direction. Evie towards apartments, similar to last round. 
A little bit of presence in middle, but this time, after relinquishing a lot of control in middle, and after allowing loads of space towards bait, the Yanni are going to try and fight it. But it's not going to really work out in their favor, because they just have Regon, a solo mission up middle, no one holding connector. And they're still going to come away with it with the man advantage though, which is actually quite mag it's quite marveling how they're able to do that. And Bait will play towards the B bomb site. One factory holding towards short, pulls out his knife and maneuvers away at the burst timing. Oh, it's not looking great, but great counter utility from B and E. Great rotations. Yeah, okay. As soon as it looked a little bit scary, it's all going to be looking good. Ancient is still on the cards, ever so much. Synopsy, oh, he's going for the knife. Yep. And he gets it. Okay, what a way to put yourself on map point. So a knife kill. So Nopsy couldn't... Well, yeah, GXX couldn't get the knife kill before. We actually are somewhat in that position as Wrinkle... Oh, I was going to say put a position, but he misses the shot. I'm not sure where that crosshair aim was. Like, it was a little bit too over... Like, a little... I don't know. It wasn't in the right position. One Vajra, though, gets away with murder there. Somehow is able to find one frag in the middle and get away with his life. Confirms that one more is there. MPL, even though they know he's here, he's still going to be making a raucous towards the A-bomb site. Synopsy peeks on a timing. That's the first. However, he's now all by himself. He has to stand tall. But unfortunately, owner has other thoughts about it. And now, either top connector or jungle is going to join by Captain Kirka. And Sineri going to get caught off just walking through. I don't quite like that idea, especially when you do have kits. Yeah, they both just walk through smokes on a timing. Regon's just in a smoke. Bottom connector. He's claiming it. Smoke fades. How does he get a kill? What? Sorry, how has he got away with that without getting a frag? Um, okay. And he still is going to get more. Imagine if Wrinkle had died. Oh, so Regon had died early on. Imagine if we didn't have him still able to get that second. And GXX plucks one out the sky. I said it was a big swing round, but it could just be in favor of BNE. They're looking to end it off here. Owner. Wrinkle. 30 HP. 36 this is going to look very dire for them, but they might be given an opportunity. I was going to say GXX could be throwing it all away. However, he just peeks into Wrinkle's crosshair and he still gets the frag anyways. Oh, no. All down to the main man. But GXX, three kills all towards that A-bomb site. It is magnificent for him. And b &E will find 16, forcing us to Ancient. Ooh, straight away already accelerating towards this a bomb site it will be bait trying to force their way through sorry b and e trying to force their way through um and we are gonna see just a quick one for one early on captain cook who has been the uh the hero for bait so far in the series instantly limited off getting that first but look at this quick flank from bait they let the bomb go down but as soon as that bomb does go down hell rains upon them Issue is, is it still me a very difficult for victory? Sorry, one flat throw. Oh my god, the bombs on the B bomb site. I literally, if the noise to try and get there, no kit means 10 second defuse and no kit means one flat throw. Can spend all the time he wants in the world. He knows he saw Wrinkle. He shoots. He knows he's off. He'll face. Doesn't matter if the Julies get the kill. Wrinkle finds three. Don't even think he'll survive here. He won't. No. And B and E with the pistol. Under watch. That's going to be a very fast play towards B. Bait. They are pushing right in. Regon Synopsy stuck in this smoke, but Wrinkle, I, I don't know, the spam, he's all by himself. Like he spams all his bullets and then gets swung upon. Synopsy just goes for two, and that's the round over. B and E, it literally couldn't have been any simpler. Yeah, the bomb will get denied, but it's like so easily dealt with. B and E, whatever's happened to them since Vertigo, they have completely warmed up into this game and are now firing on full cylinders. He side find the follow up as well. Bait for the invest, and the fact that they only find the one frag for it. I thought Synopsy maybe was going to be put under the microscope at MPL. Oh, would you look at that? Synopsy takes a bit of damage. He'll just scarf away. It doesn't matter because look, they've just got everything. All the control that BNA would have ever wanted is in their hands. And right now, they're playing a really good, like, multitude of games. Of every single round, they're playing very well because they are conditioning everywhere, every single place. Ooh, four by three, Juan Flat Show. But yeah, they've conditioned A, they've conditioned B, they've conditioned middle. Within five rounds, Bay are going to be scared of everywhere. And uh, well, there's going to be another round going the wayside. And the aim here for Bay is to save as many players as possible. But owner and Captain Kirka are still poising the question of a potential retake. Yeah, they're going to get a kill or two here. Oh my god, they might win the round. There is Kit on Wrinkle. Wrinkle needs to get onto that bomb, but Wrinkle is too far strayed. And yeah, they're going to do so much damage. 
And Regon is going to die with the bomb, but so will Captain Kirker. No, he won't. He survives on 5 HP. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. Because, like, you lose another player, but you also let no one survive for B&E. Kirker, got to be careful. Synopsy already in their grill, trying to take Donut's base. Look at this. He knows as well. Jiggles in. Oh, and he baits Kirker out as well. Not just for the one, but it's massive damage done to NPL. Smoke goes in towards Red Room. They're not going to know what's coming, but NPL still holding the fort. Good for another. There's one flat throat and GXX going to try and pull off this 2v4. Orp sweeping back through middle. And oh man, it could be a big kill here. It could be a massive one onto owner. Going to check it out. And the Orp collects. Problem is, player's hot on his heels, but just enough time to escape. They are still going to find nothing. Oh, wait. This round's winnable. Yeah, there's, there's enough time on the bomb. How? No, never mind. One flat throat. That's a really good kill to get. It could have got dangerous. I think he's dead. Can he save the orb here? It's it's awkward, and he will. Okay, big save for the orb, especially because the econ's low. He's going to be in for a good surprise. Synopsy needs to be careful. Pulls out utility. Oh, how is he alive? NPL, no. You have to be getting that frag. It doesn't really matter. I don't think anything would have come about it if Synopsy had died. But the fact he stays alive is just the nail in the coffin. And Regon's mid lurk proves very, very good. He is going to fall to the nade. Oh, no, doesn't even die, but Wrinkle will follow up with the USP. That's not the first kill he's got, and I think six rounds. It's with a USP. Um, not the most ideal, and also in a very ineffective position. Doesn't really matter. They are still going to go for this. There are two players low. Ryan, is there a chance? I'd say no. Synopsy. Oh, my God. Look at Finally. that, man. It's so brilliant. They see the flashbang, but it just comes so quick, so deep that... Yeah, he swings before it, lands behind him, gets the frag, wrinkle against three now as he tries to save his AWP. And I say it's wrinkle against three. There's no chance of them winning this round. And the boys from Kosovo, they're looking like they don't want to stop. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, nice off angle from Amster. They have spotted one player towards default, and they're going to know he's maybe tucked towards cave. But once again, one flat throw. Last round's regone. This round, one flat show. Oh, he's going to get spotted out, though. NPL. Got a 3k in one round. It's the first round since that he's got a single frag. And with that bait, actually going to win a pretty good round. They've taken a lot of damage, so it's still plausible for BNE. Synopsy to try and pull off a world in between them. Unfortunately, the smoke, you hear the clunk against the flesh of Rigon. Never gonna be his to win. And Rinkle able to find the last 9 2 bait, at least with another, but right now it's looking. Right now, they're going to be taking, like, they're faking mid control, thinking no one might be here. Oh, but MPL, he is dunked with a grenade. Wrinkle fully blind, still somehow gets one. Better than nothing. It still keeps them in contention, but this A split is going to put crosshairs on Captain Kirker. Oh, brilliant stuff from Kirker. Barry, uh, very valuable. Pieces. 9 3 the score line. It's looking pretty bleak as well, considering Flatro's HP minimal. So GXX is the man that we're going to look to rely on. Question is, how well does that go for them? One and a half. I mean, it's not terrible, is it, Freddy? That's, I think, a bit of an issue. Owner might have his backpack sticking out. Oh, okay. GXX is holding for him. The one versus two is secured. I got a little bit scared there. Him first. He Man, does it pay off? So, so close. Fine margin, Freddy. But they deliver. And now Rigon. Look at him. Explosiveness in middle. Nice shot. It's a good start. Or misses a wrinkle. But he'd already found one flat row beforehand. Synopsy cuts him out of shape. Now, three versus three, you'd still favor the T side to win this one out. But will they expect owner? Like, I expect, I, I favor the T side, but I feel like, it, I just, do they know about owner? Sense of surprise. And I, I think that has been lost now. Like, you can see Synopsy is very much tunnel vision on that angle. And yeah, he just dropped smoke. Okay, yeah, I, I feel like owner had potentially that round in the, in, in the, like, palm of his hands. Yeah. But then, because he just doesn't do anything... Surprisingly enough, both of those maps were actually pretty close until the like until the second half. Um, 
And especially map one, you kind of look back and you're like, oh, oh wow, that was close. But yeah, scenario. We saw oh, lips on Twitter no. from Noah out here, but sadly, scenario not be able to perform to that standard. That's actually an incredible round wow. from Bait. Where's this come from now? Where have Bait pulled this out from their pocket? Oh, is it? Have I, have I spoken too soon? Is there still an opportunity for them to clutch this out? Regon, one flat show. Two versus three now. No kit. I don't know if there's one dropped, and that's a great one for one for NPL. Just getting one there and confirming where Regon is, basically, I think, nullifies this whole round. No one's peeking him. He has the opportunity there on owner. Like, I know it's so much to ask for, but he had to just go, bam, one tap. Find that. Oh, brilliant timing for Scenario. Damage! Regon gets another. And the F4s hold B. Three for one. MPL cut, cut, cut completely out of this round. Three teammates fall, no response from them. And this should just be round over. Them against the world. Three players still reside on this B-bomb side. Now, it's a good first kill. Will they expect two more? That's always the thing. Peeking out, doesn't clear right side. Now MPL, one versus three. Not normally an AWPA. If that nose go would hit, it could have been very contendable, but B and E are going to be pressured from all sides on this A-bomb side. Synopsy, though, in a great position. The two pistols and one of them being the bomb are going to try walk into his crosshairs. It's all down to MPL, pretty much. Like, MPL has to go huge, and he's done so far all right. But with Amster dying so early, it puts in such more of a difficult position for MPL. Flash through a smoke, there is an attempt, but Synopsy, a good 3k. He just shuts down everything towards A main. Play towards this B bomb site could be it for bait. We're getting into the crooks of the matter, and it's all B and E. A boost isn't going to be eliminated, but Scenario is going to do so much damage. And with this aggression from B and E, it's just unmatched. That's three kills. It is relentless, as you said. And it looks like bait are biting the bullet. They take not even like 30 damage between them and kill three people. That is a winner. Scenario finds another as well. Flashbang does nothing. Cut crew against five. Yeah, I think this is it. It's going to be 15. That was their last attempt. That was that last attempt at success for anything. And instead, it's going to be five players alive for B&E. Don't do it as a single. Just like, I'm going to run A. And, um... Oh, this is a very weird play. Great flashbang. Came a little bit late. Actually, full blinds wrinkled, but both players died towards Cave. Not a great start for B&E. And, &E. and um, I mean, they, it seems identical to what happened in Mirage. They'll get a few rounds, but... A couple of safe weapons here for B&E &E because they know the money is going to be great. GXX, important shot to hit. I know the M4's there as well. The smoke will save them. It's the fact they still have a buyout as well. It's like... I would have expected this to be an eco, but the save weapons just makes it a little bit more plausible. Regon close towards mid. Last round didn't have success. Here's the util. Here's the Molotovs being ticked. First kill will go in his favor. Rinko actually gets a kill towards the A bomb site. So as Regon doesn't get as much as he would have wanted towards middle, you've got Rinkle putting his foot on the accelerator. Finally something from him. He just wins out this round for them outright. But it's like... Right now, I mean, I'm not the most convinced man. Certainly, you can see the steps are being taken and Scenario dying to the bomb. Welcome to Ancient. The bomb is mentioned before. They only need to win the one. So, you know, it doesn't matter how close it gets as long as they deliver. And well, there you have it. Rigon, Juan Flatra, both with kills. That's a little more likely. That's the better start that B&E were looking for. One flat throw. Ooh, that would have been a huge kill to get. Scenari tagged in the Molotov owner. That is monumental. You were talking about the stuff that BNE needed, and that was exactly it. An owner has somehow silenced two individually. That is actually outrageous. That's really impressive from him. The synopsis, it's his time to shine. Flashbang's perfect. Somehow still gets one, so he does avenge his teammates from owner. GXX, one versus two, Ryan. No kit. Nice shot from Wrinkle, and Bait will make it 11. It was a 4v3 in favor of B&E, but can't quite convert the round. 
Daenery is going to get contact. He needs to drop the smoke now. Uh, is it a little bit too late? Yeah, they're going to run through. However, no, it's perfect time. They're going to run into his crosshairs. One factor can't quite support him. But Daenery standing tall. It's still all just him. And unfortunately, there's not much you can do. Also, rotation's being chopped down, but they're not going to anticipate Snotty here. This close and similar with Wrinkle. Regon now, one versus two. It's the fact... It's the fact that Sineri has actually done so well on holding that defense, and he's just survived, and everyone else rotating against died. That's a big issue for me. Moves forward, moves up, takes the first fight and wins it. Low HP, did see Kirk, but can't adjust. It's going to take away so much space, and that goes both ways. Util being thrown, MPLs and anticipate someone to be here. Yep, no way. Bye-bye, bye-bye, MPL. That's a huge kill, but Regon, what? He's got, he's got his pistol out. He tries to change over to the AK. Gets too greedy, but in the meantime, Synoptis holding down this A-bomb site. This could be it. Two versus three. The AWP on 10 HP. The nade comes crashing down. Hamster's got a flank. He's on one versus two, and that's it. B&E. They make it difficult for themselves, but they secure 16. They secure Ancient, they secure the series, and they put themselves as the first team going through to the quarterfinals.